Hi, so we're going to get into SAT prep, and remember, even though these are SATs, it goes for the American College Test, ACT2, and in general, our reading strategies are for any type of standardized test on the subject, whether it's reading or math. So this is actually taken from a real SAT. Okay, so... Um, you look here and you see the points of what's going on and you know the name may throw you at first and obviously you're going to see why this name is what it is uh but then it says his 12 daughters acted as a spur to his genius he looked with satisfaction in the mirror each morning so already we don't have to read past those four lines and we see that uh Nawabdin is quite interested in his life and in the beauty of his daughters. We see this word revenue, we can circle it, we know that it's a salary, and what we're doing right now is we're like just underlining keywords. Okay, and like fish farming, you don't even know what this is. You can kind of get the idea without knowing. This is very important. Master's fields, it kind of shows a class level in case they act this way. And enterprise did particularly badly. Now there's a contrasted character here. K.K. Haroni. Uh, went to but lived mostly in Lahore, so we know we're talking about Pakistan. Uh, the old man visited... Nawab would place himself night and day at the door, leading from the servant's sitting area into the wall grove of the ancient banyan trees where the old farmhouse stood. Okay, um, this particular aviator, I, this part was all scratched out because this is just really telling you about what happens that this guy, Haruni, was, uh, he was a landowner and he lived in you know, a city in Pakistan. And here you have this here. Haruni, of course, became familiar with this ubiquitous man who not only accompanied him on his tours of inspection, but morning and night. And I kind of put contrast. Like, Haruni is a contrast to Nawabdin because we are trying to establish what's going on. And obviously, this is a story and we don't have to get into what the title it is, but Haruni is, uh, he's like a contrasted character. Sometimes he's opposite. You would call that a foil character, means somebody meant to bring out other characteristics of someone else. So these two characters are bouncing off each other, and that's all you have to know. And then you have what seems to be a type of com uh, climax. So you just circle it, you move on, and you skim read. So as you know, you land stretch from blah, 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 blah. Enough, sir. Enough, I beg. I, you forgive you, me and my weakness. Better than a darkness. And then you move on. Like there's a class difference going on between the two men, obviously. Um, this is a metaphor here. I've eaten your salt. But you can get the emphasis here that I've kind of been under you and there's going to be some kind of story. So you're kind of slowly anticipating because you don't want to get to be so bad. Um, and then here's a contrast around. He's kind of interested. He says, what's the solution? Uh, they had come to the crux and if I had a motorcycle, then I could somehow limp along, at least until I train up some younger man. And he's kind of asking him, you know, to help me out to make your crops. And then he says, the crops that year had been good. Harani felt expansive in front of the fire. And so much to the disgust of the farm managers, now I've received a brand new motorcycle. It even tells you the type. Um, and so the motorcycle increased his status. That's underlined, that's a key word, and, you know, the family in Feroza, the two daughters, we don't know what's going on here, but pretty much we have the story. And I went over this with you, and it took me four minutes, 38 seconds, and, you know, to be honest with you, that's a fair amount of time to spend on this. 
So let's go on to the questions. The main purpose of the first char uh, paragraph is to do what? Characterize Nawab as a loving father, outline the schedule of a typical day in Nawab's life, describe Nawab's various money-making adventures, or contrast Nawab's and Haruni's lifestyle. So see how they brought this contrast up? That's already there. So let's move on and answer that question. So this is question one, just moved, and we're going to look at what this paragraph is. It starts at line one and ends at about line 17 here. So what are they really talking about? He set up a little room. He must pro uh, proliferate his sources of revenue. Talked about this here, and he talked about his daughters. So are we characterizing him as a loving father? That's not the only thing. This is way, I'm going to put TL for two, limiting. Okay, and so that can't be just it. Outline the schedule of a typical day. It's not just a typical day, and you know why. He tried his hand at fish farming at the edge, and that must have been past tense because, you know, he didn't do this all day. This is talking about Nawab, of course, knew that he must proliferate his sources of revenue. The salary he received from K.K. Haroni for tending the two wells would not be enough to begin to suffice. So this is an ongoing thing. Um, and it could be possible uh, but outline the schedule of a typical day. A typical day is like he did this. He was a warrior. He went to the two wells. He set out little one-room flour mill. He condemned electric motor. If he did this all in one day, he'd kind of be busy. Uh, when asked to fix watches, he did not demur, demur. Excuse me. You don't have a common time. So let's go over this. This is not one time. This is kind of written in general. And how do you know? You have a conditional here. It says when asked to fix watches. Okay, it doesn't say, it doesn't describe and say, see how it says KK Harani. It doesn't come here and say, um, you know, Jenna, um, Asraf or something, uh, you know, Musrat and Arubi came and asked him to fix a watch. It doesn't give specifics. So it cannot be the outline of the schedule of a typical day in Nawab's life. So contrast Nawab and Haroni's lifestyles. Well, he only mentioned KK Haroni one time, and it said for attending the two wells would not begin to suffice. And we assume KK Haroni is, is an owner. Uh, and in the next paragraph, you get into what really tells you that he is an owner, that he really went to his farms, but lived mostly in Lahore. So, yeah, he is, but let's tell the truth. Um, you're not contrasting their lifestyles, not in first paragraph. So I put not in first. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get into describe... Now of various money-making ventures. Okay, so let's go on to number two. It's used in line 16. Kicks mostly, uh, most nearly means what? Let's get to three. And I went ahead and put 16 here, but they on the SAT sometimes do do the five and the 10. They do it in terms of increments of five. So if it said 17, you know that was here. That's pretty easy and straightforward. So you go 16 said thought that enterprise is spectacularly badly and in fact earn him more kicks than kudos you have to contrast it to this word here kudos or congratulations so i'm going to draw an arrow here this is good and when somebody says kudos good 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 job good for you they're saying congratulations and this then would be jolts Okay. He, in fact, earned him more kicks and kudos for no watch he took apart ever kept time again. So those are complaints. Okay. And those aren't thrills. Those aren't interests. Jolts is somebody actually kind of took something and hit him. So it's more of a big picture is what I want to go over this with you. Actually, a kick does mean a jolt. But big picture, big reference, think, think, think. It is a complaint. Okay, it's not a jolt. The author uses the image of an engineer at C, lines 23 through 28. Let's go on to the next slide for that one so I can fit all.
Okay, and for our final question, let's get into the image of an engineer at sea. And let's read this question the author uses. This is your focus word, image. And please be careful with this, an engineer at sea, because a lot of people, I saw uh, people doing this, and to be honest with you, I was like, wow, he didn't make a reference to an engineer. Well, you have to think through what he's saying. He's talking about an engineer at sea. It is a literal term, so don't, don't think of a literal meaning, please. Okay, uh, please think of what they're asking you, and it's a metaphor for something else. Okay, so let's look at what an engineer at sea is for this question. Um, when you look at all these, and I went ahead and numbered uh, these questions 23 through 28, in those lines, you really don't see at all a question for, you don't even see a reference to a uh, an engineer. Uh, but what you do see is him explaining that you had Nawab up here, so you have to assume they're talking about Nawab, and you have this grizzled, his peculiar aviator glasses bent and smudged. Okay, if you all saw the Leonardo DiCaprio movie, you know an aviator is somebody who flies. And then again, your root words, aviary, means of or pertaining to birds. So, um, okay, his flying glasses, his whatever, but it doesn't even matter if this word was in here. It means his glasses bent and smudged, now obtended the household machinery, the air conditioners, water heaters, refrigerators, and water pumps. That's enough to know that he's working very hard. Okay, so let's go to our questions. It suggests that now often dreams of having a more exciting profession. Possibility. I'm going to put a question mark. Okay, and also a check, maybe. You can do one or the other. Highlight the fact that Nawab's, and let's look at this word. Is he really emphasizing the fact that Nawab's primary job is to tend to Haroni's two wells? Because it kind of thinks that Nawab's job is to do a lot of stuff, like his whole farm. So that's this is once again to TL. I'm going to put TL for two limiting. So then let's get into reinforce the idea that Nawab has had many different occupations in life. Okay, well, he's talking specific. This is a specific question, and this is what is called a distractor. The question is specific, and this answer is specific. Okay, so he's had many different jobs, occupations in his life. We went over that uh, in paragraph one. So emphasize how demanding Nawab's work for Haruni is, is the closest one because it comes here, it says Kekel Haruni is in the same mechanical cocoon, cooled and bathed and lighted and fed. That he, and you have to think now about what this means figuratively, um, cooled and bathed, lighted and fed. Emphasize how demanding Nawab's work for Haruni is, and this is actually the answer for the SAT. And you want to look at what these specific answers. He did all of this stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff. Okay, so those are your answers. You can go to, um, you can go and look these questions up, College Board, and you'll see that these answers are correct. This is just a way to help you to get through it. Thanks.